move in the goat is an indigenous breed largely found in Kabale and Bundibujo districts of Uganda. This breed has shiny, straight hair that is normally black or a mixture of black and white. Its meat is of high quality, so has its skin, which is used as leather in the tanning industry. It's the biggest uh, uh, local goat we have. Actually, it is the superior, this is the superior breed we have here in the local breeds. According to records, this breed was domesticated in Mubenda and Zimbabwe districts of central Uganda by communities of subsistence oriented shepherds. Males have mains, and usually are unless adult males can weigh between 35 kilograms to 70 kilograms, and females weigh between 22 and 60 kilograms. They always produce two kids or three or four. Actually, one time they've ever produced even five. At Sembeguya Farm Estate, which is located in Sembabwe district, they typically have selected the poor move in the breed as the only way to keep their originality. We the breeders, let's have focus. Let's follow our line. We know that here I'm keeping the locals Mubende. And here I'm keeping, let's say, the Sunen. Here I'm keeping a boa or I'm keeping uh, a savannah. So that we have the line. But right now, getting somebody and tell that person to go and look for a local Mubende, you'll find a lot of crosses. This breed, according to Ami Sisamanda, survives well during times of drought and can go a few days without drinking water. The resistance or the tolerance of the diseases here in, in, in our country are really too high, so you can't compare them to the hybrids. Despite their diseases immunity, compared to other breeds in terms of weather and diseases, a farmer is advised to give more care and attention. Uh, when you don't give them much attention or care, or good nutritional stuff like giving them salt and supplementing them. Definitely with Mubende you will be on the wrong track. Because whatever it takes in it converts very little. So for the for the hybrids, at least for you you will be on the line. Because what it takes in it converts high. The housing is also an important aspect. But if you want to do business, do a good housing as you can see it, very well aerated clean the house and definitely you get better results. But for us here, we don't have any different management we are giving. The treatment we give the hybrids is the treatment we are giving these ones. Dr. Missy, would you advise any starter, for example, if I want to venture into Mubende goats, would you advise me to concentrate on Mubende goats as a business? So for the business people who would really think about how much to invest in, and when do I get my money out? I wouldn't advise you to go for typical Mubende, but you cross the Mubende and even the hybrid, so that you can produce kids which can as well make that growth, that in six months I can have a goat of at least 30 kgs live weight. How many goats, if I'm going to Mubende and fusing it with other hybrids, how many goats can I start with? Uh, a farmer at least would start with uh, 25. 25 would be a good number to break even. And then you get uh, one male. Because uh, when you start um, with the 25, I think in two years you'll be able to have uh, around uh, 75. In breeding like in other breeds must be avoided. Always let the goat be with the mothers or in a mother flock for only one year. With the Mubende, it can even stay one and some two months because for them they take long to get on heat. Next week on the farm, we shall examine crossbreed goats. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV on the farm.